What's going on guys? So I know it's been about three weeks since I posted my last video, but I wanna give you guys an update on the channel last year and what I'm going to be doing moving forward because there are some exciting news that I think I have for the channel. As you know, I'm not going anywhere because this video is sponsored by nobody. Um, no, but I actually wanna talk about the whole nobody thing. So towards the end of 2022, I said the video is sponsored by nobody, but you know whose money I'm rolling in today? Our sponsor. Nobody. And in the comment section in the community, I think we all kind of just got into this whole thing of, you know, videos being sponsored by nobody. And then going into 2023, I was like, let me just keep this whole no sponsor thing or sponsored by nobody. And I did it for the whole entire year. And to be honest, guys, I was very scared because when it comes to, you know, looking at YouTube, people are watching. And when you say your video is sponsored by nobody, it wasn't like I was giving companies the middle finger or anything like that, but it was more or less just me trying to build my authenticity. And I didn't want to shun companies from working with me in the future because, you know, if they watch my channel, they're going to be like, oh, this guy doesn't want to be sponsored by anybody or by us. Um, so I was a little bit of afraid that I might stop my growth on YouTube, but I just want to say I really do appreciate all the support I got last year because I actually doubled my subscriber count. Um, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to get like 10,000 subscribers, if that, last year. So really happy for everyone who decided to subscribe and stick around for the channel because, you know, it's not that hard to get views on YouTube, I would say. Uh, I mean, it is hard, but I would say it's much, much harder for someone to hit that subscribe button. So for everyone that decided to subscribe and stick around, really do appreciate it. Still rocking the S23 Ultra. I just have to bring this up because I have a list of things that I want to talk about so I don't get sidetracked or, you know, just start rambling. So with the whole no sponsor thing, starting with 2023 or 2024, um, sponsors are coming. So, you know, in the upcoming weeks, you're going to see a sponsored video. Um, but with that being said, don't think that, you know, I'm going to be changing my personality or my authenticity. My own thoughts are my own and things that I work with on the companies um, in terms of like relation, you know, full transparency. I do want to have the freedom to say whatever I want to say. And if I don't have the freedom to do that, the video is not going to be posted on the channel, period. Um, I'll probably still work with companies and, you know, just get feedback behind closed doors. Um, because once again, in a sponsored deal or like, regardless, working with companies, um, I really just want to get feedback to make better products for everyone. So, you know, even if I don't post a video, I'm happy to work with you guys, give you feedback on your product, things like that. So with that being said, we're off the whole sponsored content. Now, the style or the structure of videos are also going to change starting next year with longer form videos. So I think I got the process down for what to showcase for products. So with smartphones, laptops, as you guys can tell, probably towards the end of the year, I had unboxing videos, which aren't going anywhere. Day in life videos, which I wasn't expecting to take off, but you guys actually seem to like it for my smartphones. And then my review videos, whether they're unscripted or scripted. But I want even longer videos. And before anyone says anything, I am on my lunch break, it's 12.30, so I'm good. Let me just make sure I don't have a meeting though. Yep, don't have any meetings. So when it comes to longer form videos, which I know is against the norm since a lot of people are pushing towards shorter form videos, which I'll talk about in a second, but I don't wanna say tech reviews are bad on YouTube. I think a lot of tech reviews are actually good on YouTube, but I don't think it's enough time given for the review. Um, for example, you know, if you're spending upwards of a thousand, thousand plus on products, I just don't think a person can get a full experience in a 15 minute review from my own personal experience, right? Because it's a lot of money for some people. So I want to have that regular review that, you know, kind of highlights the important things of their product, but I want an even longer form video where I can just sit down and talk about whatever I want and just get into a little bit more detail on, you know, my full experience using the device. Um, so for example, like if I were to get the S24 Ultra, S24 lineup, um, I'd have the unboxing video, day in the life video, the review video, and then just a long form upwards of an hour video where I'm just talking about my experience and how I really, really feel about the device. Um, maybe it'll be a live stream. I think that might be fun. 
But regardless, I think the longer form video might be a benefit for the channel. Um, we'll see how it does in the new year. I also have on the list shorter form content, maybe. Um, I have never posted a vertical video, um, so I'm a little hesitant to do it. It's not like I am against it. You know, I think short form videos have a place. It does take skill in their own front, but just for me, I just don't think I can do it. It's probably just a mental thing, but you know, if you guys think I would benefit or you would watch my short form videos, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, but that's why I said maybe, right? Um, might just highlight the important things in the short form video. Um, last thing that I wanna mention is finance videos. I, once again, have been on the decline of posting finance videos, but still post them last year. And I don't know what it is when it comes to finance on YouTube, but the amount of support and appreciation I get for my finance videos I don't wanna say it trumps my tech videos, but I just feel like I'm helping someone so much more um, because it's almost as if the people that are searching for finance videos are looking for like a change in their life. And it really does mean a lot when someone says they get value out of, you know, them redoing their personal finance or, you know, being on a better path because of the videos that they watch, whether it be a tech or finance video videos. It's just finance videos hit a little bit more, um, especially when you have, I don't say a similar background, but it's just a little bit more relatable than, you know, having all these nice products lying around here, right? Um, so if you guys wanna see more finance videos on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. Gotta say like every other YouTuber, I'm not a personal financial advisor, whatever they say. Um, I just do research in finance and I just incorporate stuff personally in my life and I like to share it. Uh, publicly, it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. I'm completely transparent on what I show, but that's what I'll say on the finance videos. Um, so with that, I appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. It was a wonderful 2023, even though I feel as though I posted less and just gained more subscribers and views than ever before. Um, appreciate the whole no sponsor last year. We're still gonna keep that in the new year, but do expect a sponsored content. Don't know if I'm going to CES, I want to, but every time I go, I just feel like I could have just stayed at home and looked at stuff online, but it is nice being in person, seeing some reveals. Um, I know last year I was front row whenever they released the 7000 series of AMD, and it was honestly just amazing. So just that experience alone, I would say was worth it. And then, you know, it's Vegas. Vegas is always fun. Um, but yeah, I'm signing off, guys. Got to go back to work. Um, going to be a snowstorm here this weekend, so I got to get prepped to stay inside, and my heater doesn't work, and now this is what happens when I don't have a list. I just start rambling, so appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. As always, guys, much love.